Once upon a time, there was a big grocery store in the heart of the city. The store was flourishing but the only problem the shopkeeper faced was that there were plenty of mice residing in the store. They used to bite into every pile of the stock bags kept there in the shop. Days after days they wasted many food products that were brought by the shopkeeper to sell like loaves of bread, biscuits and fruits. The shopkeeper grew worried by the loss caused by the mice. He finally decided to bring in a cat and leave it in the shop to keep a check on the troublemaker mice. The very next day, the shopkeeper brought a fat cat into his grocery store and set her free. She started chasing the mice every now and then. She had a very pleasant time hunting down the mice and feasting on them regularly. The cat grew bigger and bigger and the shopkeeper too became happy with his decision of bringing the cat to his shop. And why not? It saved him from a lot of damage that was caused by the mice. Slowly and steadily the population of mice in the grocery store started to fall down. The mice became more and more concerned with their dipping population as the cat kept preying on their fellow mice each day. As their concern grew more and more, they finally decided to call a council meeting to discuss their problems. Soon the council of the mice took their problem to the head mouse. They discussed how their population is dropping day by day and it became impossible for them to know where their predator is. This was making them more vulnerable to getting caught by the cat. Soon the head of the mice came up with a brilliant idea of belling the cat. This would solve all the problems of the mice. Belling the cat would allow them to know where the cat is because every time it will move, the bell in the neck will ring. Though the idea was liked by every member and all became happy to hear a brilliant solution to their problems. But soon their happiness came to a still as now the question arose who will risk their lives in order to bell the cat. All was quiet and no one spoke. Suddenly a tiny mouse came forward and agreed to execute the plan himself of belling the cat. All he asked was necklace of three bells tired in a pink ribbon. That afternoon, the little mice along with the necklace went to the cat with a clever plan. As the cat saw the tiny mouse she was about to stumble on the mouse for her afternoon meal. But as she was about to kill the mouse, the mouse pleaded to the cat to listen to him once before feasting on him. As the cat gave him the chance, he started admiring the beauty of the cat saying that he never saw such a beautiful cat in his lifetime. He went on and on praising the cat for her beauty and finally took out the necklace. He then said to the cat that if she wears this handmade necklace that was specially made by him, she will look like the prettiest cat in the world. Listening to him, the cat and Joy quickly wore the necklace and jumped onto a chair to look at herself into the mirror placed right in front of her. As the tiny mouse kept on praising and admiring her beauty she finally out of sheer joy and happiness, decided to spare the mouse with his life. But soon that afternoon, her stomach started rumbling with hunger and she soon wanted a mouse to feed upon. But as she started moving around the bell and her neck started belling and the mice soon disappeared from her sight. Lastly, the mice became happy and no longer feared the cat. As they could hear the sound of the bell ringing and disappeared from her sight immediately. Moral of Bell and the Cat Story The moral that we learned from this beautiful story is that have the courage to face the toughest situation in life and never get swayed away by the praises that you get from others without analyzing the situation.